We have 300 people investigating or monitoring. Afghanistan, Georgia, Kenya, Côte d'Ivoire, Central African Republic, the Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, Uganda. I, I do so. think there's a good chance uh, that you'll get a question about Gaza. They said, they on? said on Ga Gaza. Israel doesn't let you have a jurisdiction. The United States even doesn't. Last week, the Minister of Justice of the Palestinian authorities came to my office giving me jurisdiction on Gaza. It's a legal question. Can the Palestinian authorities provide me jurisdiction or not? But also I'm doing investigations. I'm monitoring crimes around the world, including in Afghanistan. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Yeah. Right. You just went public to the whole world just now saying that you have been approached by the Palestinians about Gaza. Yes. That's the first time you've mentioned that in public. Yes. That's a big deal. The court is a big deal. My yeah. job is a big deal, of course. Trying an alleged Congolese warlord is one thing. Investigating the Gaza war is quite another. This expert is the leader of an organization of US Christian conservatives. He's come to argue that the prosecutor should stay away from the Gaza case. And I would like if we can present to us all your arguments in detail. Well, from, from our perspective, looking at the conflict in Gaza, the lack of statehood is very significant here. Um, without Palestinian statehood, for the court to exercise jurisdiction, I think taints the court and politicizes the court. That is, I think, stretching the jurisdictional base way beyond its support, especially with the lack of, of, of statehood here. And so, it's very interesting, the discussion, and we'd like to use this opportunity to have all these lawyers here to, uh, to, no, to understand better the problem.